So binary search is an approach which is applied on the sorted array sequences and it is used to search an element in the sorted array. So the search procedure begins with the mid element. So we just divide the array into two parts based on the mid element. First, uh, the selected or target value is compared with the, uh, the mid element. If the mid element is equal to target value, then the index of the mid element is returned. Otherwise, we check whether the target value is less than mid or greater than mid. If it is greater than mid, then we search the target element to the right side of the mid element. And if it is lesser than the mid, then we search the target at the left hand side of the mid element. The recursive calling is made based on the uh, target value. So the recursive calling on the left hand side and right hand side of the array has been made accordingly. So this is how your binary searches will be worked. So uh, for example, if I consider an array of uh, seven elements like uh, 10, 20, 30, uh, 40, 50, 60 and 70. Suppose the index start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and the target value is x uh, and that is equal to suppose uh, we need to find out the value 40 okay so in order to find out the value 40 so because uh, we start with the mid element and for this problem the bin element will, will be 7 plus 1 by 2 that is the last index plus first index by 2 that means 8 by 2 or 4 so 4 is mid so mid element is nothing but 4 so we check for the mid element whether it is a target value yes it is a target value it means the this would be the best case so in best case the algorithm uh, the time complexity of algorithm is order of 1 otherwise we need to divide the problem into two parts so the n problem is divided into size of n by 2 problem so any because it is a binary search so it may be a partial divide and conquer because if you want to divide the sub problem and uh, divide this t of n problem into sub problem so either part of part of n by 2 will be executed the other n by 2 part will not be executed because element is to be searched in any of the half of the array okay so for uh, worst case it requires order of log n base 2 time so average case also consider order of log n base 2 time okay now in this uh, scenario i considered one element problem as a, a small sub problem for the algorithm and if I have more than one element so for more than if n is greater than or equal to 1 then this would be a big problem or large problem okay so the base case is when the only one element is left in the array so I just write down the algorithm here so the algorithm would be binary search and I pass the array A with the indexes and the element to be searched okay so if there is one element only then the problem is smaller i just return the index of that element else 
I just return minus one. Okay, so if element is not there, fine. So this is uh, so uh, so if i is equal to j, then okay. Sorry, uh, I just skip one step. So if i is equal to j, then I need to check for the whether this one element is equal to my target element or not. So I need to check if a of i or a of j is equal to x. If this is the case, then it will return the index i. Otherwise, it will return minus 1. It means that the element is not in my uh, array. Okay. Now, so this is the case when only one element is there and the base case is executed. If basis case is not there, I go to the else part. In this, I need to find out the mid element. So mid element is nothing but i plus j by 2. And if the a of mid, a of mid is equal to x, means the middle element is equal to x, then return mid okay otherwise if the a of mid so if a of mid um, a of mid is greater than x then it will call the binary search procedure again with a i mid minus 1 comma x else it will call the binary search on a mid plus 1 j and x close the else part close that algorithm Okay, so this step that is base case, this require only because this is only one element. So I just need to check whether it is equal to the target value or not. So this will require order of one time. So this step require order of one time. Now this calculation of mid also require order of one time. Then this comparison also require order of one time. And here also this is a order of one time. Now this is nothing but recursive calling. These two are the recursive calling, but at a time only one recursive call is there. So either because okay, so I just put it here else statement. So either this recursive call or this recursive call will be executed due to this else statement. Okay, so let's find out the uh, what is the recurrence relation for this algorithm. So the recurrence relation t of n can be formed as so if uh, your problem size is small that is only one element is there then only your problem uh, is very small small problem if n is uh, greater than one then you can you can treat uh, this problem as a bigger problem so if n is equal to one then you require only order of one time so if n is equal to one okay only small problem is there so it is order of one time if otherwise if it is greater than or equal one then what you do you just uh, calculate the uh, mid element that will require order of one time plus you calculate the you compare with the target value that is also require order of one time and then you come uh, you compare with the mid element uh, that is also require order of one time then you, you go to the either half of the array either right or left one so that will require only time complexity in n by 2 uh, size of array searching in the n by 2 size of array okay so yeah, this this is the time complexity if if n is greater than 1 
okay so i can write down this time complexity as t of n by 2 plus i just uh, sum up these three uh, constant timers and put it here as c so c is the amount of time required for going to any half and for other computations okay so for this recurrence relation the the uh, the time complexity can be given as order of log n base 2 so the time complexity of uh, a binary search algorithm is nothing but order of base 2 in worst case or average case if we consider the best case then it require order of n time complexity okay similarly uh, i just write down the time complexity for the linear search so for the linear search because in linear search we for any array we start search the element from the starting index of the array so uh, for that case uh, the best case would be if your uh, target element that is x is at the a of first position okay because linear search start with the a of 1 so uh, in the best case it require only order of one time because at the first location also it will get the element in worst case that is only happen when your element is at the last index or we can say that your element is not there in your array so if element is not there or element at the last last index it will require n comparisons or order of n plus common comparison it means the worst case time complexity would be order of n and the average case time complexity can be calculated as n plus 1 by 2 that is order of n so the linear search have order of n time complexity for worst and average case and best case have the order of one time complexity thank you very much